Seventeen year old Mercedes Nichols is one of the suspects in the attack, but that is not the news tonight. This is the news. It's not Mercedes' first brush with the law. We have learned that on November 13th, Mercedes' ex-boyfriend, 16-year-old Jacob Johns, filed a restraining order against her for dating violence. In that petition, Mercedes' ex-boyfriend said Mercedes was violent towards him and several other times threatened him. The petition specifically says Mercedes stabbed him with a pen. Fourteen days later, on November 27th, the restraining order against Mercedes was issued. And then in February, Mercedes was arrested and charged with violating the restraining order and for aggravated stalking, allegedly for contacting her former boyfriend on Valentine's Day. Mercedes' mother, Christina Garcia, joins us live on the phone. Christina, it sounds like your daughter's been a bit of a handful. Yes. Um, take me back to this restraining order last fall and this boyfriend. Um, what, what happened? Well, um, first of all, Mercedes and Jake had been dating for like a year, and he was very violent with her as well. And um, the relationship was not good. It was not a good relationship. They always fought. I, I never supported the relationship because Jacob was very violent with her. She has, he has kicked, he has kicked her, pushed her, um, caused bruises on her legs. He kicked her in the stomach. Um, uh, whenever she was two and a half months pregnant and caused her to lose the baby. Since the restraining order in November, he has violated it on numerous occasions himself. About two or three weeks before the, um, before the beating, that the, the beating at, at hand here, uh, about two or three weeks before that, they both went to Bush Gardens together with um, two Bush Gardens cars that my mom actually pays for with her bank account. Why, why is this child of yours so out of control? I mean, she's in this relationship with this guy. I don't. I mean, and I, I mean, I don't know what his version of the events are, but I, I heard your your version. She got pregnant, and was he the father of the child that she miscarried? Of course. What? Why is this child so? Out of, it's seemingly. I mean, look, she's got she got major issues to put it politely. Um, I, I don't, I don't know that I agree with that. Well, do you agree? I mean, you, you think that it's perfectly okay at her age to be pregnant, to miscarry, to be in a bruise fighting situation with a boyfriend, end up with a restraining order, and now she's got herself cooked up in this video on, ta uh, this, this tape on the internet. I mean, there's certainly, this is not exactly a problem-free situation. No, uh, absolutely not, but, um, she is not... The, the person that is beating this girl, she was there, and like I said, the last time I spoke to you, I do feel that she should have called the police. She is not the ringleader. Uh, everybody's saying she is, and you know, there's a lot of six, there's a lot of 17-year-old uh, girls out there that get pregnant, and um, they're not put on the news and all their stuff aired out like this, okay? That's how I feel about it. I'm well, not there saying may, that is there, there may be others, Christina, but the fact is with those statistics that she's, you know, going into her eighteenth year on, you know, she doesn't have much of a you know, much of a chance. I mean she's got like she's got a lousy start. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how she I mean she's got to deal with some very serious that. problems. That's real positive thinking, isn't it? Hmm? I know I'm facing I would reality. Hope, I would hope I would hope that my daughter is not up watching what you're saying about her. I know I, I'm actually concerned about this child. I mean, look, you know, she's a young person. Right. And as a young person, do you think that she needs to hear that she doesn't have a real good start in life? Yeah, look, if she's got criminal problems facing her, open criminal penalties uh, problems facing her, I don't, I don't know who's going to agree that this is a good start. First of all, the restraining order was diversified, and it wasn't even brought into court. She was never adjudicated of, uh, or. I don't know the word, but it did not go to court. Well, well, for what, forever, but here's the problem, Christina. The more you get arrested, the more likely you end up in jail because you stop getting probation. She's 17 years old or 16 years old, I don't know what it is, and she needs to turn this, turn this around or, or she's going to have, you know, a very tough road ahead. Right. I agree. So, uh, I mean, does she realize that? Yes. I mean, she, she got involved with the wrong friends, the wrong people. But so what are you going to do? 
What, what do you mean? Well, you got to help her. Well, obviously I'm helping her. What are you doing? What can you do to help her? Well, all of these children need um, evaluations through counselors, for starters. They don't need to be thrown in jail for the rest of their life. They are not 20, 30, 40-year-old people. Are, are you not freaked about what's going on with your daughter, that she's got a lot of trouble facing her? I'm very upset that, um, that people are thinking that she needs to spend the rest of her life in jail. I agree. I'd be enormously upset with that, too. But I would, I would be very upset if she's got violent charges lodged against her and she's only 17 years old. She's, always been, she's already been pregnant and lost a, ch a child in a miscarriage, and she's been accused of stabbing a boyfriend at seven, a, 16 with a pen. And, 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 and the person who had her and made her have the miscarriage is on record to be the father of the baby that she miscarried. I am not defending his conduct at all, Christine. Oh, I'm just I saying that. I, I mean, I'm just saying that this is a very serious problem. It is a very, very, very serious problem. But all the problems are not her. Well, I just hope things get turned around with her. She's still young enough where things can can turn around, and and I hope that does happen. Christina, thank you for joining us, and good luck with her. Uh huh.